What's up guys, Cliff from the Sunday Drive, and today we're going to be showing you how to remove the front plastic from your 2014 or 15 Silverado. So welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video we're going to be removing this black plastic that's on the front of the 2014 and 2015 Silverado bumpers. It should be a similar process to remove this on the 16 through 17s, but I'm not 100% sure because I have not done it. So this video is specifically gonna be for the 14 and 15. Now, you don't need to remove your bumper to do this. It can be done on the truck, but we are upgrading fog lights on the truck. So the bumper did have to come off and we're wrapping the bumper, which is why we would like this plastic off to get a nice clean wrap on the truck. Um, so if you're interested in having any wrap done, definitely uh, hit us up and we'd be happy to help you out with that. But today's video is gonna focus on removing the black plastic here, so. We'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so this is held in by a whole bunch of clips, as you would expect, uh, and seven and 10 millimeter bolts. So we're gonna start by removing a whole bunch of the 10 millimeter bolts real quick. That did not work. Uh, now I first just tried to remove this with a power tool, and I can't remember if this was already broken from the first time I removed this, but these do get pretty corroded. So it's not a bad idea to maybe take a wire brush to them, but I would recommend after that, starting each one of these with a hand tool, making sure it's gonna break free, and if not, hitting it with wire brush or PV blaster, and then coming back and finishing it up with a power tool to speed the job up. So let's see if I can, I'm gonna have to get pliers or something to hold that. So let's move along and try to get the rest here. These are all, not wanting to break free, that one's pretty snug too. So I'm gonna get some pliers and hold the clip. So that way I'm not turning the clip into the plastic and snapping the plastic off. So let's uh, get some pliers. All right, so after seeing how corroded all these are, I'm just gonna take a little PB blaster on each one of these, just to hopefully help a little bit. I do live in the Northeast, so if you don't live in salt country, these probably won't be as bad for you. You never know. So I just have a pick tool, pretty hefty pick tool stuck in the backside here. And again, just holding against that rotation. And this way you're keeping the force off of the plastic. All right, so I'm gonna try, now that we got that a little bit free. See if we can hold it. Wow. Two rares. All right, so it seems like the regular Milwaukee 90 degree is not quite up to it, so we broke out the impact one. And that's definitely working a lot better, but I think the PB Blaster is helping, is plus having this pick tool in here to and protect the plastic. That's crazy. Whoop, lost that. All right, we're gonna break this one by hand first, I think. Now there's still all these plastic clips also holding this into the bumper. We have two right here and then two on the other side. So we're gonna take our clip removal tool, pop that out, just like that, two part clip. Honestly, sometimes metal is nice, but for something like this, I just prefer plastic holding it in because that doesn't rust. Now before I remove these center seven millimeters that are sandwiching the bottom plastic to the part where your license plate holds on to, I'm gonna first see if that'll come off as just one assembly. So we're gonna remove all these seven millimeters that are right here. 
So because these are so small, I am going to start all these by hand just to make sure we don't snap any of them off. These are all pretty loose. These are a little more protected from the elements up here. Now there are two metal clips we need to remove, one right here and one right here. So what we're gonna do for that is you're just going to press down on the clip and sneak it out like that. So it is a lever like that. So these little notches right here hold it into the plastic and you push it down and pull it out. So you can see here, we got to push it out that way. So I'm pressing down on the inside and then pushing through with my finger, just like that. Looking at this, I think it's going to be easier to separate it fully. Since we only have a, a few screws left to do anyway, just have these four since we already pulled two of them out. So I'm going to separate this all the way and then we'll pull it out because you can see the black uh, kind of tabs that slide over the metal part here, all of these along here, and those need to go backwards while the rest of it needs to go forwards. So you could possibly pivot it off, but I think it's just gonna be simpler fully removing it since we're this far already. I'll just go the rest of the way and get it done. Should be fully separated. I'm just going to start lifting from over here. And for somebody that wants to just remove this lower valance, this is how you would do that if you want to run without it. I know some guys do eliminate it. All right, but with gas prices right now, I like every little bit of extra fuel economy I can get. <laughs> About to put cardboard over my wheels. All right, so let's flip this up. All right, and that came right out. So that does come out way easier just separating those two pieces. So a little bit of extra work, but six extra bolts, not really a big deal. So that's how you remove the lower plastics on your 14 or 15 model Silverado. Again, it should be similar on the later model uh, Silverados as well as Sierras, but it might have some slight differences. But this is how you do it on the 14. Again, if you need to know how to remove the bumper, we will have that video linked down in the description. And if you want to know how to install upgraded diode dynamic fog lights, be sure to check out the video at the link above or down in the description. And if you want to see how the truck is going to be all wrapped, Make sure to tune back into the channel or check out our Instagram. And we'll see you guys back in the next video.